Welcome to our first video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what is prayer. And I know there's so many different definitions out there. And today, I, I'm just gonna to attempt to give you a simple definition, a working definition that we use as a team that can hopefully give us uh, training wheels to move forward and growing as a house of prayer. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, what is prayer, a definition for prayer, corporate prayer, house of prayer, and a house of prayer for all nations. So again, as when we talk about prayer, there's so many different expressions and definitions, but simply, I, I wanna offer you this definition for prayer. Prayer is relating to God. Prayer is relating to God. It's just us, it's us engaging in our relationship with God that can be with words, that can be with silence, that can be quiet, it can be loud, it can be with music, with dancing, with different expressions, uh, but it's us engaging in our relationship with God. Now, Prayer is not always done alone. Uh, we also have corporate prayer, which is just, uh, it, which again, we're talking in these videos about how do we become a people of prayer. So it's not just me and God, but it's us and God. So corporate prayer, if prayer is relating to God, corporate prayer is us relating to God together. Corporate prayer is us relating to God together. So now I'm not just thinking about how am I relating to God, but I'm thinking about how are we relating to God. And that's what a lot of these videos are gonna talk about and how to do that practically. So we got prayer, which is relating to God, corporate prayer, which is us relating to God together. But then we bring in this phrase, a house of prayer, which we see in Isaiah 56, verse seven. And so a house of prayer, the word house, uh, has this concept of family or relationship to each other in it. So, so a house of prayer is a family relating to God together. So we're not just coming together, talking to God and leaving and bouncing like there was like we never knew each other, but we're coming to God together, relating to him and also having a relationship with each other in it, relating to him together as a family. So we got prayer, which is relating to God, corporate prayer, which is us relating to God together. And a house of prayer is a family relating to God together. But then there's this last phrase in Isaiah 56 verse seven, where it says, it's a house of, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And we're gonna teach on this a little bit in the next video, a little bit more. But a house of prayer for all nations means this, that we are a missional family relating to God together. So when we're talking about the house of prayer for all nations, it's not just that we're praying for other nations, it's that we, it, another translation says it's a house of prayer for all peoples. It means that we're, we're always growing and, and bringing in other people into this relationship with each other and with God. And I love this phrase because in this phrase, we actually see our Antioch ministry philosophy, which is encounter disciple mission. We see, we see uh, the house, which is the disciple part of prayer, which is encounter for all peoples, which is mission. So we see prayer, family, and mission in all of this. So once again, prayer is relating to God. Corporate prayer is us relating to God together. A house of prayer is a family relating to God together. And a house of prayer for all nations is a missional family relating to God together. I hope you jump into our next video, which is a little bit deeper on Isaiah 56, six and seven.